Well, hello there, friends. Welcome to episode two of our Byzantine Mine Colonies playthrough. Me and Dunny are conquering the world, Roman style. Don't bring me into this. I still think you should have built on a desert. Well, okay, I am conquering the world, Roman style. I mean, how often do you think about the Roman Empire? Well, for me, recording this series, it's uh, once a day at least. Last episode, we got the Builder's Hut built. Very exciting. And we placed down the town hall. This episode, I'm hoping to build that. You can see it in the background. And we'll have to hook up Jay with the materials he needs, but we're feeling a bit of a material squeeze. I'm going to have to make sure I have everything we need going forwards because Byzantine build style is not an easy style. It's not for the faint of heart. So let's jump in. Alrighty, so we've got four colonists here. Jay Hoobies, Random Nerd Vink. Um, who else? There's somebody else over here. They're wandering around. But yeah, we've got four dudes on our colony. And thank you to my Patreon members and my YouTube members for putting your name submissions into those posts. If you've added your name, they're all in there and there's a chance you could appear once we build a tavern. So what we're going to do first is find out what Jay's quest is. It's always important to do these quests that appear above your citizens' heads because a lot of the time they can give you some really cool ideas. Here we go. Is he going to talk about the builder's goggles? No, the resource scroll. Well, we built one of these, Jay. It's right here. So, okay. yeah, I'll find one for you. He also wants cobblestone. Oh, right. He's probably trying to build the town hall. Well, I'll work on that. If you say so. So boom, here you are, Jay. There is the Builder's Scroll. If we click on him again, he'll give it back to us, but we will have to go over here and reconnect it to the Builder's Hut. There we go, resources linked. So yeah, there's no resources here required, so I'm not quite sure What's why he wants then? cobblestone. Anyway, it's about building the town hall right now. This building has to get built. We wanted to get rid of this oil over here, but I think what we're going to do is let the builder build over it. A problem hidden is a problem dealt with. Right, so yeah, we'll go over here, build options, get J on this. You don't need to set J, but we might as well. So what kind of materials are used for the town hall? Okay. So it looks like the materials for the town hall are actually much, much easier than the materials for the builder's hut. I thought we were going to have to go out and gather some stuff, but we're kind of good for all of this. Although, look at this, spruce slabs, spruce planks, and 59 spruce log walls, we're gonna need to build a spruce forest. But we'll leave Jay for now, he's got the tools he needs to at least start clearing the area. So we're gonna leave him to do that while we take some saplings over to the opposite coast where we're gonna build some forests. Here we go, now there's all kinds of materials that you need Every mine colony style is different and unique, and the resources you're going to require are always unique to that style. But there should be some saplings somewhere around here. I think we took them out of the chest. Here we go. So we've got oak saplings. We're going to need those. Spruce saplings. So the guide said there was a rax with... There we go. Spruce sapling. I don't think Dunny is going to help us this episode. Looks like she's just soaking up some rays. Yes. Don't you have a forest to plant, Mr. Beast? Well, yeah, I hope you're wearing lots of sunblock then. And so this area over the other side of the river looks perfect for us to set up our starter forests. We'll get some cool berries with it as well. So let's just start clearing the area so we can put down some saplings. There we go. Now it's hungry work clearing out a forest. So we're going to have some cooked mutton. And yeah, oh, and let's get rid of these ugly logs as well, because they're going to be in the way. Very nice. Now, I don't think we really do need acacia. It looks like, for the most part, this build style only uses spruce and oak. So that's going to save us a lot of hassle going forwards. It might not be the case once we start getting to level 2 and 3. But for now, a spruce and an oak forest should be fine. So yeah, we'll start with the oak over on this side. And we're just going to splash around some saplings. It doesn't really matter if they overlap too much because they will all grow at some point. And we'll leave those to brew in the background. So the resource scroll, what else are we going to need? We'll have to go digging for a bunch of dirt. We're going to have to make a fancy door and framed oak and an item frame. Well, we could borrow an item frame from the boat because we have a few of those lying around. Other than that, it really is just 
oak and spruce as wood. Oh yeah, look at this, spruce log, 212. We're gonna need loads of this stuff. But what we're also gonna need is some cobblestone, some gravel, and some torches. So I'm gonna go into my mine that I prepared behind the builder's hut, see if I can find some coal. But also, we're gonna dig down and just grab some cobblestone as well. If we're lucky, we'll find some gravel underground as well, but it's not really a problem because the coast along this river is rich with gravel. Hello, random nerd Vink. Miss Vink, how's it going? I love your bangs. So that's a weird thing, right? If you're American, you call um, the hair at the front of your head bangs, but in England, we call them a fringe, uh, which is, I guess, yeah, just one of those weird things. We're gonna borrow Jay's furnace to cook up some of these oak logs because we're gonna want some charcoal for some torches. Wait, what's going on? Uh oh, the colony's under attack. Get out of here. Whew, close one. Man, Random is just having the time of her life. Look at that. Okay, great. And you know what? So am I. I'm really excited for how this colony is going to go. We've got these three mountain peaks. And again, keep putting your name suggestions for what we should name the colony into the comment section because I really want to get some good ideas for a name for the colony. <laughs> Hopefully something that's either Roman, Byzantinian, or something that leans on the idea that we have three mountains nearby. There's some great ideas already, but I want to see some more before we move forwards. And there's some more. 40 torches should be enough just to get us down into the mine so we can see what we're doing. We're going to need to decorate the stairs because I'm thinking maybe, let's press F7 actually. Here we go, yeah, so yellow squares are bad. That means at night time, monsters can spawn here. Red squares are even worse. That means monsters will spawn during the day. So we'll make sure we torch up this area. Also, actually, I don't like this roof being so low, so we're gonna get the pickaxe out. Make sure we're selecting mining tunnel. There we go. Hold down ulti mine and just dig out like this. Very cool. And now we can run down unimpeded. So we'll put down some torches. There's lots and lots of cool ores around here. But the big thing we want to make sure is that no monsters spawn down here and then run up to our colony to disrupt things. So we're looking for coal. Lovely. Whoops, that's a mining tunnel. We don't want that. So make sure you do change from your ulti mine style back to shapeless if you want to do some actual mining. Oh my god, I just... I just broke the pickaxe. Oh no! That was iron as well. That was a bit of a waste. But you know what? Stone is going to be fine for us at the moment. Boom, so, oh yeah, look at this. This is a spider cavern, and oh my god, look at that, a lava river. Very cool. Let's use some of these cobblestone we got to make a staircase. So this is where things could become pretty deadly for us. Luckily enough, the pirate armor that we got is actually pretty good, and the cutlass that you get, the iron scimitar, equally amazing. So what are we looking for while we're down here? Well, I guess all kinds of things. We can use iron, we can use copper. Oh, yeah. And luckily enough, it is abundant. Now, our prime focus this series is absolutely the colony, so we're not going to get too sidetracked by other mods at all. There are some essential things that I'm kind of leaning on the mod for. Like, for example, a sleeping bag. It's a great tool, something that you kind of want to have on you at all times because it saves having to put down a bed. And likewise, I'll probably make a backpack at some point just to make things easier for carrying stuff around. So what was I looking for down here? The resource scroll. Oh yeah, gravel could come in handy. And we'll need a little bit more cobblestone. So I've got my stone shovel. Boom, give me some grav. Oh yeah, lovely. So another thing I might be making as well from a mod is a dank. A dank is a tool that lets you store big amounts of one item. So if we configure it to cobblestone, it'll let us have like a thousand cobblestone in our pack and condense it. It's great for cobblestone and things like that that you get loads of while mining, but that fills up your inventory and is quite messy. Get rid of that hematite because we don't really need hematite. So there we go, that should be plenty of cobblestone for this build. Let's go and see if the forest has grown now. 
Oh yeah, look at that, some really impressive trees over there. And only one spruce has grown. Oh no, there's two. But we should at least get some saplings from those to expand the forest even further. Oh yeah, big tree here. Lovely, loads and loads of saplings from this. What's that noise? What is that noise? Can you guys hear that? It's like some infernal machinery. What's going on? Oh wait, I think I know what that is. I think that's a monster with a jukebox backpack. We can probably ignore that. I think, I hope. Either that or there's some weird, infernal, crazy, evil carnival underground. So while we wait for that forest to grow, what kind of architect's cutter items are we gonna need? Well, let's see, we've got the framed oak planks over here and the fancy stripped oak log door. Aha, so the main material is a spruce log and the outside is a stripped oak log. So we want the spruce log on the left and a stripped log on the right, and that will get us, yeah, wait, fancy spruce log door. No, it's a fancy stripped oak log door. So we've got to switch that around. Stripped on the left, spruce on the right, fancy stripped oak log door. Yeah, that looks like the one. And green is the color we want it to be. So yeah, that's about it, really. There's, oh, and also the framed oak planks which is just oak planks and spruce planks. What? Why, why is he complaining? What was that? I missed that. Something's horrible though. Well, maybe you're horrible, Jay. You ever think about that, Jay? Okay, here we go. Spruce and oak. Framed oak planks. That's what we want, right? I think so. That's what it said. Anyway, this is really just a waiting game now, so I'm gonna gather up the spruce as it grows, plant more down, gather more spruce, keep doing the loop, and then go and give the materials over to Jay so we can get started on the town hall. Because this is a big build, it's going to take him some time. Okay, so 9,000 spruce logs later, we have got Jay up and running with all the things he needs. There is one is thing day. I want to remedy though, and that is the fact that yeah, we haven't got a courier yet, Jay. Cool your jets. Anyway, we want to get rid of these wooden tools because now he has a builder's hut. Jay can be upgraded to use stone tools. So here we go. Hi. Right click and give you those tools. Looking very good. And I reckon, yeah, we're about ready to unpause him and let him get building. So it looks like Jay is putting those stone tools to work by digging out this last little bit that he needs done around the back of the town hall. Now I took a look at Jay's stats and I'll show you after he's finished this build, but his stats have improved slightly. Basically workers doing a job will slowly improve the stats related to that job over time. And that's why it's really important to keep the workers that you have in a certain role doing the same thing, because they only get better at doing it. We don't really have to worry so much early game because we won't get any raids because you don't get raids until your colony is big enough. So this is the golden age of the colony where we just don't get any problems. Zombies and skeletons are always a worry but they should be under control as so long as we remember to sleep. The town hall is an amazing looking building and an essential build for the colony. It's basically where you do everything as far as colony admin goes. You can rename your colony by the way, keep those names coming in in the comment section. I want to see what you guys think we should call our colony. And I will heart and like any ideas that you have for a colony name. But also it's where you find out how many workers are unemployed. You can manage whether your colonists give birth. It's an essential building. But with Byzantine especially, as you level up the town hall, it gets other buildings inside of it. I can't remember which ones exactly, but at like level three, I think you get things like um, a mechanic's hut, 
amongst other things. And that's really cool. One of my favorite features about the Byzantine build set is the fact that many of the buildings are multiple different buildings inside one huge building. And that's a really cool idea. And that's why I've decided that when I do my streams, my Minecraft streams on YouTube, what I'm going to be doing is building my own style. I've taken a look at some of the modular keep designs, like the fortress style and the red keep style, but I kind of want to build my own. I love building castles. It was kind of my first ever video. Okay, and here we go. The level one town hall looking pretty good. Now, none of it really looks Byzantinian. That's not really going to happen until we get to around level three. But for now, this is a much more impressive build than other styles. So there we go, the town hall, it looks fantastic. And wait a minute, did I see you with a shovel? Were you gonna go and help out the builder? What, don't be ridiculous. These hands weren't built for manual labor. Okay, fair enough. I guess you do look a bit more like a wizardy kind of person. Anyway, um, right, so let's go and take a look at what's inside. Open this bad boy up like an early Christmas present. Oh yeah, now it's a big building, a huge one. It took old Jay a long time to build, but it's looking pretty cool. You can see why we needed so much spruce, oh my god. But it's very cool inside. The town hall block is up here. Very easy to get to, but how are we supposed to get to those balcony bits? Is there like a side bit? Oh yeah, stairs up this way. This is a really cool looking build, especially for level one. It's even got a bit of a balcony out here. Yeah, very nice, very nice indeed. So what we're gonna do for the rest of this episode is get back to a bit of quality of life. As you may have noticed, my pack is almost always full. And there's a few things we can do in this mod pack, All The Mods 9, to remedy that. Like I said, we're not gonna be going deep into All The Mods 9. I wanna focus on mine colonies but a few things here and there to make my quality of life better won't hurt at all. And that's why right now we're gonna be making a sophisticated backpack. So here we go, a backpack from sophisticated backpacks. We'll put this on the left over here. We don't need to dye it a color yet, but we'll go over here and see what we need for this. So we're gonna need string or flax. We're gonna need a chest and we're gonna need four bits of leather. That's actually really easy to do. So let's go and see if we can find some of those bits. So number one on that list is gonna be leather. We killed some horses over there a while ago, but that's not ideal. Now, if we can get past this creeper, there's a couple of cows over in this direction. Yeah, let's go do it. Now we've gotta be careful. I don't really wanna be slaughtering all of the wildlife in my immediate vicinity for good reason. We're gonna wanna bring some of these animals back for the buildings that look after livestock, sheep, and pigs and whatnot. But I do think there's probably a way inside all the mods 9 for us to get the animals back to our camp a little bit easier. Maybe like a golden lasso or a jar or a crate, some kind of cage. There must be a way for us to box up animals and take them home. Okay, so where were those cows? Oh, I've gone past them. Oh, they're up there on that mountain. Okay, they're mountain cows. Grab some roses because I have an idea for what color I want to dye my backpack and I think it's going to be orange. I've had red before but orange is the color of our colony so it's going to be the color of my backpack. How are these cows so hard to find? There he is hiding in the bushes. That's right. He knows what's coming. Boom. Two leather. Good. Now we need just two more. There's a cow over there to the north. Another one of these mountain cows. I think cows usually spawn in groups of at least two. I guess that's so you can breed them. Oh, has he fallen down a pit? Is it a pit cow? A chasm cow? Yeah, chasm. No, no. It's just one of these cows. A plain old brown cow. There we go. Is that four leather? No, three. Oh, so close. What the hell is that? <laughs> what actually is that? A bamboo creeper? For some reason, it's not angry at me. Oh, it's very cute though. I like this guy. Oh, I want to keep him. He's just very, very, very thin, isn't he? He's like a creeper on a diet. Okay, where were the other cows? Ah, uh, that's right, over here. Let's see if we can find these guys. So we'll kill you. 
get your leather, and that should be good. Now we need string, and how do you get string? Ugh. Well, there's a few ways in this mod pack. We could always kill spiders for them. We can find some flags. You can grind down wool, which we're not really going to do. That's a bit of a complex process. Oh man, yeah, we're out of luck. Well, maybe we can actually make a marketplace. This is something that's going to come in handy later on. Actually, yeah, this is really cheap. So planks, red wool, and logs. Well, we can do that. I've got red dye, I've got wool. Let's go and do it. The market. Do we have what we need? Yes, we do. Boom. And this is how we're going to spend our first and only emerald. Oh man, on flax? Really? Is that what we're doing? But that's what we need, and string is very useful. So we're going to put the market... Uh, do you mind if I put the market over here next to you? It's kind of the only space we have. I do mind. Okay. Uh, yeah, no worries. We're going to put it over on the front of the boat then. Out of the way. And a gift from the skies. It's weathered... Weathered salesperson. Oh man, yeah, you've had a rough old time, haven't you? And boom, one emerald, flax, wait, flax, yeah, whew, it's here, thank god. And, oh yeah, so we've got one wild flax. So now we need to set up like a quick and dirty flax farm. Where are we going to put that? I mean, I guess over here on the coast, we can use the water from the river, so we don't need to bother irrigating with a bucket. Just like this. And down it goes. So one flax will get us even more. We don't actually have any bone meal yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to wait. I'm going to wait for this flax to grow, dig some more, put down more seeds, and eventually we should have a bit of a flax farm here. So I'll catch you guys in about 20, 30 minutes. Time for a cup of coffee. So here we go, our lovely flax farm. It's not exactly the most picturesque farm, but it'll do for us for now. String is pretty tricky to get unless you get some of this flax seed. So honestly, building a market and then using it to get flax, if you have an emerald, which you should have if you've found any villages, is a really good shout. There are other very important seeds you can buy from the market. As we get more emeralds, we'll investigate those. But for now, nine flax becomes nine string, baby. Oh yeah. Because what's flax? Answers in the comments section, please. So we should have everything we need now. We are looking to make the backpack. We've got, yeah, the chest. Oh, what happens there? When I hold this, I get minus symbols above items. Don't know what that's about. Oh, we even did a quest. Amazing. So this is going to make things much, much easier for us going forwards. There's even a slot in Curios for a backpack. Or at least there should be. Yeah, back. Boom, we can put it there. And we're wearing it. Amazing. But it doesn't really fit our pirate garb or our colony. So it's time to take one further step. We're going to make ourselves some orange dye. Then we combine the backpack with the orange dye. This should work. Yeah, there we go. An orange backpack. It's not too different from the brown backpack that we just had. But you know what? I feel like I've put my own little personal flair on it. And that's important, right? Yeah, there we go. It's kind of orange. Looks pretty good. So, open backpack is currently set to B. We're going to change that to caps lock. There we go. Done. And boom, yeah, it works. Amazing. So I will have to remember to turn off caps. Um, but now I can just dump all of my stuff in the backpack so I can put it into my chests later on. So a massive thank you for watching episode two of our Byzantine playthrough. This episode, we got the town hall built. We built a forest of both spruce and oak, and we can be harvesting that in between episodes to get loads and loads of logs, all of the important wood we need going forwards. We also built a little bit of a mine there. Pretty cool. We also built ourselves a marketplace, which is on the front of the boat. Have a little flax farm going along the coast. It's not permanent, don't worry. 
it's going to be replaced with a proper farm at a later date. And we built a backpack which is going to give us loads and loads of flexibility on our mining trips when we go and gather bits and bobs to get the colony built. But from me and Dunny... Who are you talking to? Okay, from me, thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe and ding that bell for notifications about when the next video is coming out. And until next time guys, take care. No really, you keep talking to the sky. Do you need help?